Hey, everybody. Uh, if you're watching the replay, make sure you follow and not just like. That way, it will alert you anytime we have a new video or if we go live, which is almost every night except now, Friday and Saturday night, unless I just, you know, I'm having a day where I want to be lazy. <laughs> Remember when you jump on to say where you're from, the state? And let's try to hit all 50 states. I love it. It's my favorite. We've gotten really close. I guarantee we've probably gotten up to like 45 states, which is super cool. Hey, Helen. Helen is from Georgia. Sherry's from Ohio. So the more y'all say, I know your names now, but the more you say your names or where you're from, I will remember. Hey, Miss Carol. All right. Um, in the description, like I said, you know, I keep doing all this stuff with like plainy color. So I'm going to do something with Valentine's colors. And if I don't like it, then I'll give it to somebody as far as the colors. But I really want to do something. Chris is setting it up for me with the colors in it. Hey, Kim. Kim is the one that told me about um, putting the onions in the um, tomatoes and feta cheese, which is delicious red onions. Try it. You'll have to go back on the other live from, when did I do that? Monday, Sunday? Uh, hey, T and you're from Tennessee. I'll have to start remembering that. All right, Mississippi, Maryland. Pretty cool. I'm going to turn my comments off on my phone and look on my computer. That way, I'll be able to show you what we're going to do tonight. <coughs> All right. If you remember or if you were watching at that time when we learned how to make those little tiny uh, caps with the toilet toilet ring and we knotted up and I bought like a whole bunch of uh, different kind of yarn and y'all all of a sudden I think I'm flashing I'm hot all right hey from hey Cheryl from North Dakota Virginia I made a batch and enjoyed every bite yes Kim I'm I still have that big thing uh, and I'm still eating off of it um, so I've got all this yarn left over and I don't know if your Dollar Tree has had it for a while, but our Dollar Tree just, in the craft section, they've had knitting hooks and, uh, I mean, crochet hooks and knitting needles for a while. Gosh, I am red. <laughs> look, how flashy, look how red my face is. Um, but um, they've had um, some yarn in there lately. Um, we didn't have it for a long time. We had the supplies to do everything else except the yarn. So I've grabbed a couple of colors, and these are some of the colors that I still had from the caps, from the little snow caps. So what we're gonna do is make a heart tonight, and this was just another one of those little Dollar Tree, and it's not wooden though. This is some of that pressed cardboard, and we used it once. Well, we didn't use the heart, we used this for another project at the top of our like little swag we did. So I'm not gonna throw that away in case we need it or I can send it to one of you. But like the other form we used the other night, the back is smooth and there's no tags. I have to worry about glue. If I was doing another project where I was going to paint it, I probably would use the front because it actually has these little grooves cut into it to make it look like planks of wood. But we're going to cover this up with a little pom-pom, so we're just going to work with the back tonight. From Maine, hello, hello, Lynn. Oh, Texas. All right, that's the first one. More out west, because we're getting this side. We're getting the east coast. We just got to get the west coast to love us. Thank you for sprinkling. And did y'all see tonight, or earlier today, where I put a notice on there um, that Neely got up my uh, other page called Sins Crafters. Where now, you know, you just, uh, you'll have to search it in your search bar, Sins Crafters, and uh, and just hit that you want to join, and I'll see it and accept you. And that way, y'all can put your crafts on there. You can answer any questions on how you've, you've done your crafts. And I love those, I love those pages sometimes more than I like the crafters because there's so many people out there that they don't do shows, but they still like to craft and they have awesome ideas. So... Um, please go on there and put it, and if you have good recipes, I don't care if you bake a cake. You can put whatever's on there because I'm always looking for new stuff. 
And there may be some people that like to watch the crafting page, but also like to cook. Let's see, I joined your new group. Yes, I saw that. I think I've only gotten maybe about 100 people that have uh, sent, um, and we're gonna do something with the edge of this, but I'm gonna put it out the way and we're gonna start making our little pom-pom balls. Just like with anything else, depending on how fluffy you want this is how many times you wanna loop it. In the past, when I've showed you any kind of pom-pom ball, I always try to make a pattern, a loop. I got this piece of cardboard. I put, I cut an angle on it because I, I want something to be able to help me as I'm looping it so it won't slip off the end. But I need the other end so I can slide it off. So if I hold it one side and I'm winding it, it will not slip off because I made this little down on our like, you know, pointy side on this end. But you do need to be able to slip your palm off. But if you hold this side, it can't slip off because your fingers will be right there. And you just have to determine how um, fluffy you want your pom-poms and how uh, thick. This is a, a little bit thicker yarn than like a, just a regular yarn. So I went around this shape and it's probably about an inch and a fourth, inch and a half at the most, 40 times. And I like it. Now, if I, if I had something where I was worried more about the whole shape as I made it, I probably would have went around maybe about 20 more times. And it would have been just as full at the bottom as it kind of is on top. But since I'll have one side that's flat and we're going to glue it down, like, like for a half a ball, it was perfect for me. Thank you for sprinkling. Hello from, okay, M.O., is that Minnesota? What's the M.O.? I hope it's Minnesota, is it Minnesota, no, or uh, Montana, maybe? Excited about seeing crafters and enjoying seeing other creations. Um, ah, thank you. Um, Pennsylvania, thank you, Lori, for sprinkling. I joined your neighbor, I'm so excited. So, when I went around it 40 times, and we're gonna do one if I'm not explaining it very well, but, um, okay, M-I is, is, is Missouri, okay, M-O is Missouri. Or is that just, okay, what's M-O, y'all? You got Minnesota, which I would think would be I, but then you got Missouri. You know, I'm not very smart. You don't know that at all. That's why Georgia's the easiest one for me, because the only one starts with a G. <laughs> all right, Missouri. Okay. All right, so M-O. Okay, so what is um, Minnesota, Michigan? Is Michigan M M-N? M-O is Missouri. All right, and I guess M-I maybe is Minnesota. And then what is Michigan? M-M-N? I'm gonna learn all this thing. Cause then you got New Mexico would be, would be backwards. Hey, Cynthia. Um, M-I, okay. All right, so if I'm not explaining to myself, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll explain it a little bit better as I'm doing it too. But like I said, just remember, we're actually going to have just really half a circle because we're going to lay this down. So when I say if you want it to be this full all over, then you do a few more loops. And it just depends on how big you want your pom-pom, how um, what thickness your yarn is. Like I said, this is I would say this is probably a little like double the width of a normal yarn so when we made the little hats you know i had to pretty much double the amount of pull throughs i had on a regular yarn where this one was you know i didn't have to do very many at all so and i'm thinking this is color now when i said you know a little bit more valentine's i'm kind of sticking more to the little, little pink end of it um instead of throwing some reds in there you know, I have to experiment with these colors because this is my first, like, Valentine's year, really putting up decorations, and, I, you know, I'm not a big color fan. But um, I think, you know, combining it with, like, a burlap, which I really like, any kind of far, you know, okay, uh, Michigan is M-I, okay, Michigan is M-I, so what's Minnesota? <laughs> M-I, Minnesota, hold on, maybe M-S? 
weeks. Y'all tell it's been a long year. And when I went to school, it was still like Georgia was the big A and I mean the big G and little A. Now, you know, I guess maybe I was in high school and everything went to two capital letters. <laughs> I think I still write Georgia when I'm mailing stuff a big G and a little A. Don't you do that? I do that. Hey, Lynn from Pensacola, I get so many ideas from your crafts. Thank you. I love it. And and I was so surprised some of the crafts that y'all put on there were actually ones that I did. I was like, oh, they don't like Sally Field. They do like me. Um, um, but hey, Vicky. But um, um, some of the other ones, like I said, if you ever take my idea and you do it different or you do a different color, I mean, please post it. I love it. All right, M-N is Minnesota. Okay, so M-N. Okay, now I'm all confused. I'm gonna go back and look at these comments later and see, or maybe I can, you know, you just Google it on your phone now. So, okay. So this is what I've decided the width of my pom-pom is gonna be. Um, it, there's no specific size. Um, uh, it looks like here, actually on the inside of this tag, and this came from the Dollar Tree, it actually has a ruler with centimeters and um, inches on it. So we can I can actually tell you exactly how long what I've done is one inch. I was right the first time, an inch and a quarter. And it just, I don't wanna make a ton of these, but if you did wanna make several little ones, you would just know to do this even smaller. Because you gotta remember, not only is it this length, for one side, it's gonna be this length for the other. So the pom-pom would actually be, you know, What's that? Two and a half inches, you know, all the way across. Um, so, just a little math. Well, you know that math we were never going to use after school. Hey, from Texas, another person from Texas. Hey, Lenore, thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Carol. Okay, so um, I'm just going to hold it down the length here, and I'm just going to wrap. And as you do, if you're making multiple things in the same project, remember to count doesn't matter what you just want them to all be the same. So I did 40 on that and I really liked it. So I'm gonna do 40 on this. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Okay, Okay, and what I was saying is, and I was holding it wrong the first time, is you don't want it to slide off the end of your board. So that's why I put this little tail over here and I'm holding it on this side. So I'm just gonna come down, cut this bottom, and I'm gonna take a little length and I'm gonna wedge it in here for the length. You can put this, and I did it on the other one. I thought it would've been easier for me to lay this down before I, did all of them, but I could bend my little cardboard and slide my thumb through it. But next one we'll lay down first because I, I, I learned that on the first one and then ran my mouth and forgot all about it. All right. All right, hello from East Texas. Hello, Deborah. And I'm gonna make several colors because I kind of want it to be like, um, almost like a, a quilty effect as far as, um, we're going to tie it at the top. Lord have mercy, I'm getting all messed up here. And I've just, I'm tying it on one end. Now, t if you mess up and if I would have tied it down here, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. I'd just cut that one and make it go to the bottom. But try to get this part as tight as you can. This is what's gonna hold all your little pom-pom together. Sometimes you can use thinner cord uh, to hold this together if it, if it knots better. But considering I'm not gonna like, this is not gonna move around and all that, I really don't think my pom-poms could pull out. But I mean, you actually could pull one of these really hard and it would come out. But most of your po projects are gonna sit still. But know if you're making something that's gonna move around, you need, really need to tie it pretty tight. Okay, and then you just slip your scissors in here on this side and we're gonna just start cutting. A lot of people will hold these in the palm of their hand if you don't need it to be this thick. And see, it's held together. 
the long piece is gonna be our tie, but you are gonna have some uneven pieces. So just I, earlier, I, that's where all the dust and little feathers were coming from on my package. It was just uh, for me making. I only got a couple more I need to trim. Okay. And see, we've only made two, but it's gonna cover a lot so i mean i don't think we have to make very many but if you uh now you understand what i mean if you wanted it a thicker ball on each side it looks really thick but you got to remember one whole side of it i am it's, it's flat so if you want it to be this full and um and you say you had it from a little string hold it down you would probably need to go maybe 20 more times you could go as many times as your little cardboard well, hold, maybe you just need to make it, you know, your little um, little template-like thing here just a little bit bigger because you saw after I put 40 on here this thicker, it was pretty full. All right, so let's make a few more. I'm just going to alternate these three colors. And I'm thinking about putting this on the door going into my bathroom, like the little half bath that everybody would go, that would use in my living room. I mean, I know it's kind of girly, but I'm just thinking, you know, us girls just like that stuff. So thank you for the hearts. Hey, try laying that piece down first, then wrap it around it. Okay. Oh yeah, you're talking about the, the, I, the first time I did this one before y'all came on, I was like, I've got to put this uh, tie down first and got to run in my mouth and didn't do it. So, we'll remember that this time. We're going to cut our tie, is what she's saying. Go ahead and put our tie on here. And just I'm just going to hold it with my finger. Let me go on this side, because I like to wrap forward. But it's, it doesn't matter if you wrap forward or back. You're just doing circles. So, and look, y'all, I'm going to put a little notch on the end so this tie will not fall down. Remember, this is like trial and error for you. Like make one and see if you need it to be longer, fuller, and just adjust your little, and just use the piece of cardboard. This was the cardboard that went around my sanding block. Just use whatever, you know, poster board, anything works. Okay, so that way I got that little niche. It won't come out as I start to twirl it around. Laugh out loud. Can you tilt the camera down a scope? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm thinking y'all want to see me. I know y'all don't want to see me. Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Hey, try and line that pee. Uh, laugh out loud. A scope. Listen, we rented that movie and watched it last night. I'm telling you, we're not going to talk about it anymore because it's awesome, but y'all got to rent it and watch it. Hey, see, I need a craft fix. All right, Brenda, me too. Okay, two, three. And see, once, since I have this, the only problem I went through last time was getting this tie, y'all. And I'm thinking, I probably did up too short this time. Gosh, what am I going to learn? Okay, this time, same thing and make it longer. Okay. <laughs> One of those days, y'all. Okay, but it's still time. So... Okay, so I wanted to be able to show you just how fast this are, even if you have to make a lot of them. Make little tiny ones. I mean, you can make them this big and cut them down to little tiny ones. You just waste a lot of your yarn. <clears throat> so if <clears throat> making something smaller than this and longer doesn't work out, you may just have to make it this way and cut it down, especially if you're making little tiny ones. I would suggest if you're making little tiny ones, use more of like your uh, twine, you know, like this. You may have to do it a lot because this is so thin, but if you're making tiny ones, that's going to probably be your better bet than a really thick yarn or just regular yarn would be easier too. All right. All right, so there's our, we'll make a pink one. All right, need a craft fix. Me too. I was sitting here. We have been on, I've been on my feet all day. My feet are killing me. 
But um, when I came home, I got on the couch and <sighs> instead of reading, like I was like, oh, it's so quiet in here, I'm gonna read. I start watching craft videos and playing games on my phone. The next day I started yawning. So right at like a quarter to seven, I was like, I need to get up now and start moving. Cause I mean, my eyes were just slowly closing. What are you cooking for Sunday night? I don't know, Carrie, but we got, maybe we'll just do a little early cooking, you know, at around five or 5.30. And then I'll come on back on at 7.30, another one, do a craft. Cause that was really fun. I don't know if it was fun for y'all. It was really, really fun for me. All right, let me cut this longer, make that a little bit easier. Hold it with my finger, slip it in this little knot and get to moving and quit running my mouth. And what is up with my little, oh, that's because it's on the other side, Cynthia. All right, y'all, in a minute, if I glue all these to the wrong side, just know it's been one of those days. Okay, now we're gonna stick this on here and get to spinning. What do you think? Okay, two, three, four, five. I don't know, but do y'all notice how I put on the Lucien's little craft bin that we all like to eat? So if you're not a big crafter, because I mean, there's some people that like watching crafting shows that aren't big crafters. Um, and that's cool. But if you're like a good cook instead, give us some good recipes because um, we, um, uh, and listen, my boss and uh, Larry, and Father Larry at the church and his wife Pam told me today, I was telling them about us talking about, um, what do you call them? Uh, potato salad last night. And they're from the north. And they said that people in the north eat potato salad. So I am corrected. I mean, I, I'm thinking some of my food, our foods are just southern foods. But she said no. Um, People from the north eat potato salad. They're like, homemade potato salad. And she said, mm-hmm. So, I stand corrected. So, if anybody last night was thinking, what is she talking about potato salad? We eat potato salad, then, nah, woo-woo on me. Did you check out Rethink Fabulous? No, look, I've got them all still written on here. I didn't, when I went in my room and started watching a few last night, I didn't, um take the little pad in there but one of them i think that y'all gave me i think amber strong i do watch her that's the no name one of the names last night i noticed when you know they were coming up that she is one that i watched but now christy's craft i didn't see those names um and i want to uh watch that it's a little short on that side but i think that's the side i'm gonna keep on the bottom because they're going to be flat. There's just some things you can't count and talk at the same time. <laughs> that must be my part. But no, I did not get to rethink Fabulous. But before I stand up tonight, I'm going to go on there and look at them. Because like I said, there was one. Tater salad with mayo, vinegar, sugar, onions, radishes, celery, eggs. I don't think I've ever had them with... <laughs> Nathan said radishes. That sounds disgusting. He's a young, he's above his boyfriend. I don't know about radishes, but I mean, I've had radishes in my sandwich. So, um, I mean, in my salad, so probably doesn't taste bad. I love a good crunch added to anything. No, I'm sitting here thinking, I, this may be not the craft that I can like chit chat and do. I'm messing all up. Okay, put this on the right side. And then 4th of July staple, fried chicken and potato salad. You are so right about that. Fried chicken, potato salad, deviled eggs. We hadn't talked about deviled eggs, y'all. That is like a fave in our house. Well, not so much. Buffy likes it like me. Neely and Chris hate it. But my family, usually we, you know, when we get together for Christmas, somebody makes deviled eggs and they never make it to the table. We all, that's what we munch on while we're, you know, waiting on the last people that are late to get here. 
they're set. Yes, Diana, I watch a lot too. So I'm thinking, like I said, I saw Amber Strong come up and last night I do watch her. But the other ones, I don't want to say yet that I don't watch them because sometimes I don't pay attention to the name. I just know their faces. How about, okay, you, I think, you, okay, Duke's onions in sour cream with vinegar and sugar. Um, how about Duke's onions in sour cream with vinegar and sh sugar? I don't, I, that sounds good. I like just cucumbers and vinegar. If maybe that's why you were, how you were saying it and it corrected it for you. Deviled eggs made with coleslaw dressing. Ah! Oh! Diane, I don't think I've ever did that. Buffy, she is saying that if you make your deviled eggs with the sour, uh, cold, coleslaw dressing, you know, you make you can buy coleslaw dressing already, you know, like in a ranch, you know, like in the dressing. She said, make your deviled eggs with the coleslaw dressing, and it's really good. Buffy's not a huge coleslaw fan like me. I'm, I'm a coleslaw and pimento cheese connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> they are my favorite. Oh, okay, same thing. And listen, Shelly, where is that from? One day we were, I was in the grocery store and cucumbers would not come up on your little self-checkout things. And she brought up, how do you yeah. say, Buffy, how do you say C-U-K-E-S? What? How do you say C-U-K-E-S? Like Dukes, but with a C. Me either. I don't know if I'm gonna say that right. I don't want to say it. But she said, "Oh, it's not coming up. Cucumbers is coming up." What you're saying? C u k e s. And I guess is that like just a type of cucumber, or is that what they call it in certain parts? But cucumbers and vinegar, <clears throat> yes sir, with some salt and pepper just by themselves is the best. Y'all can tell I don't eat supper before I um, come on here live. I'm always hungry, which, you know, I'm always hungry if you know me. That's why I need to exercise because I'm never going to push my plate back. And the older I get, the more the less I care about pushing my plate back. I just, I don't care. <laughs> Use spicy brown mustard and mayo. And mine, deviled eggs and potato salad. See, y'all got all these good. I'm gonna have to just just make a whole bunch of potatoes and just make different pans and see which one I like, which one I don't. I'll tell you, I do not like Dijon mustard. I guess the real McCoy. Something that something is in it that's not coach with me. I love mu regular what I call regular mustard. Y'all probably don't call that regular mustard. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know if maybe the mustard seed in it is too strong for me. It's just a little, little too strong. I'll tell you, I don't like that. And I don't like um, rosemary. That, that disappoints some people when I tell them I don't like rosemary. <clears throat> it tastes like eating a pine tree. It, it overpowers the stuff. I don't even, it, it just, mm, I cannot stand rosemary. Um, just shorten the cucumbers to cukes. Cukes? Yes, said like dukes. Okay, so cukes. So like cucumbers, but cukes. Okay, well, I mean, she was just like, it, 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 this is what was coming up. And both of us looked at each other like, you know, that this must be some other part of the country thing. I don't either. Sandy, rosemary, mm, that's probably, that and beef liver are about the one things that I, I mean, I'm, I stay far away from Um, mm. but other than that, anything other than that, especially if it's a vegetable, I could sit down in the summer and eat vegetables out the garden. I don't even have to have meat. Now my husband's got to have meat, but, um, yes, I don't, I don't like mushrooms. Oh, no, no, mushrooms are one of my faves. Any kind, any way, 
any way you can cook them, saute them, stuff them. You get the little jar ones, the little cheap jar ones, and put them in your salad when you go to a salad bar. <laughs> uh, mushroom rice. Oh my God, Sherry. But still, I can't blame you. You probably like rosemary, and you know people look at me like, you don't like rosemary? I'm like, yeah. It just overpowers everything. I don't even like the taste. That, and there's one other one that Buffy uses sometimes that I can tolerate it, but I could do without it, too. And I want to say it's maybe thyme or something. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Sherry, they're slimy to me. You know, I I watched some show once. That, you know, you know, I like all those little, like little learn all those little fat toys. And you know, you're not supposed to wash um, mushrooms. You're supposed to wipe them off. You know, like when you get them, you're supposed to wipe them is how you clean mushrooms. You're technically not supposed to watch them. I have watched Beat Bobby Flay, and I've seen him wash a mushroom, so I'm thinking, I'm washing my mushrooms or at least rinsing them off. But technically, you're supposed to, like, wipe them off, wipe mushrooms off. I mean, they grow in, like, stinky, so I'm thinking, mm, I got to get as much water on them as I can. Targaryen, tarragon, potato salad is really good, too. All right, now what makes that potato salad different? People think I'm crazy because I don't like sage. Um, sage isn't a bad one, but I mean, it's not the end of the world for me. I don't cook with it, I'll tell you that. But it's not the end of the world if somebody does. But like, I won't eat something if it's got rosemary on it. It just, it's like I can smell it from across the room. They don't even have to tell me. She had it today at the church for the soup ministry at the um, church, and I'll tell y'all the best little ideas for like shut-ins. We live in a really small town, so we have like a lot of shut-ins for COVID, older people, um, people that do have COVID that are okay, but they're shut-in because of quarantine. So the soup ministry at the church is together with some other organization here locally where different businesses or churches, um, charity house we have, instead of like doing a soup kitchen every day or once a week. Everybody picked a week. So we were making, um, what is it, St. Paul's casserole. Pam, if you're on here, tell me if I'm saying that right. Hey, Jenna Grace. And um, that's what we did all day. That's why I've been on my feet. We've been cooking. Um, and it was a really good look. But she had rosemary on the windowsill because she was going to put on her extra casserole for supper some rosemary. And I was just thinking, mm. Do not put it on mine. Oh, that's because it's backwards. I could just smell it sitting on the windowsill. Ugh. Where to put the wild mushrooms in salt water, but surprise all the little bugs that came in them. But, oh, those mushrooms are so good. Yes. Yeah, and I, I, I don't... And, and listen, when I'm watching this show giving you these tips, they could be talking about, like, some really high-dollar mushrooms. I'm talking about, the, like, little white button ones you get in the grocery store, like portobello's about as fancy as I get. But maybe her mushrooms, she was saying, were, like, super clean. And she was like, you're supposed to just wipe them. You're not supposed to drench them with water. But, like I said, I've seen Bobby Flay do it, so we clean them. Um, but yeah, I mean, like you don't want to wash something that's like grown in stinky. Hey, Jenna Grace. Jenna, okay, vinegar based with bacon and served warm like a German potato salad. Vinegar based with bacon and served warm. Is that mainly made with red potatoes? I had a potato salad once that I think they made it, they made it with red potatoes and it was cold, had cheese in it. But whoever had it at the time, and I can't remember what it was, she said, I like this potato salad but I like to heat it up. So it wasn't bad. I think it had red onions and it was kind of crunchy and it was good, but she was right. I warmed it up and it was delicious. Not real hot, like I turned it into mashed potatoes, but um, 
it did, um, I don't know, it kind of blended the flavors a little bit better. I wonder if that's what it is, because it did have a little bacon in it. Any type works. Need to put the wild mushrooms in. Okay, now, now morals, is that the, the white fancy? I mean, it's like, like, Button. I thought this was kind of like button mushrooms, but you know, you know, I don't how I am about terminology, y'all. Like to roast my potatoes, potato salad. Really? I don't think I've ever had that roasted. Listen, however, my sister cooked potato salad. I will never in this world tell them any other way to cook it. Different. I'll try different ways myself, but the way they cook it is. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't want to ever tell them anything to do different because it's so good. We're doing good on time. Let's see. Now these little, I mean, this is the way it started off. You know, we had that little bitty piece. So when you get them in the dollar store, this little chunkier, you don't get very much. But especially if you're crafting, doing any kind of craft with yarn, I would think it's, unless I did multiple crafts, it's, I'm probably never going to use all of this unless I did it with multiple crafts. So I think this little size for crafting really is perfect. But if you were like going to knit a sweater, I would say, I would not say to use the ones at the Dollar Tree unless it's something really small or something because I think you'd have to buy 10 of them to get it to do any kind of length. People here go crazy over more mushrooms. Friends come over and hunt them in our woods for them. Now, what are those? Uh, maybe those little clusters of uh, mushrooms? You know, you see those little clusters sometimes. We don't have a great expanse um, in our five, six grocery store here. Yeah, it's, you know, you gotta get what you can get. And then sometimes they'll have it there and then they won't ever have it again. And you need to ask for the hunting sites either. <laughs> Morals. Uh, and you never ask for the hunting sites either. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, you're saying that people come and get them out of the woods by your house? Our grocery stores are terrible. Jenna Grace, if Jenna Grace lives in my town, sweet baby that she is, yes, our grocery stores are pretty horrible. They aren't in the store. Okay, but I mean, what do they look like? They are very expensive here. Hey, well, you know, like, don't people get those, like, truffles or something, dig them up out of the dirt or something, and somebody was like, you know, I'm just a backwoods Hunter girl, I have no, I guess, maybe taste palette for expensive stuff. I do not like caviar. Chris said there's, he had one type once that he thinks he could tolerate. And he eats all kind of fishy tasting stuff. He says he knows for definite sure I wouldn't like it. And somebody once said, when I said, well, what does that truffle stuff taste like? And they were like, you like caviar? And I'm like, well, Chris said it wasn't for me. He goes, well, you wouldn't eat this either. It's just kind of... I mean, do people just dig stuff up off the ground and put it on food and it's rare and so that's a delicacy? <laughs> because I, can, I don't, I don't want to eat anything that tastes bad and eat it just because it's expensive. Ugh. Some of the, some of the best food I know is free. <laughs> like when you grow a cucumber in your garden. They are all over up here in the spring, but secret hunting grounds. Oh, so you're meaning like, you know, people will come and they don't tell you where they find them. Kind of like uh, ginseng when I watch those uh, people. It's like supposedly illegal to do it or whatever. And um, they go hunt it up in the mountains and stuff like that. I found one about six inches tall and a huge black spider crawled out. I couldn't eat it. <laughs> I'm not scared of spiders, but if a snake had crawled across it, I wouldn't touch it. Because you know I can't do snakes. Mm. Yeah, spider doesn't bother me. Just like a while ago, a little stink bug was walking up the thing to my cord. That bugs don't bother me. I mean, I'm, they're not my best friends, but no. But a snake, mm. if it slithers, I want it gone. Fiddler head. I don't like mushrooms, but I do like those. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look it up. So, it's illegal to hunt them, but 
is it illegal to buy them? To try them? Hey, Sam Marie from Tucson, Arizona, out west. Two, three. I'm gonna like this little textured heart. I think I'm gonna like it. Maybe I not like the color so much, but I'm definitely gonna like the um. I'm gonna like the texture. I think is what's gonna make me like this so much. No, they are so good, and everyone wants them. They are hard to find. Can't find them anywhere. So if you have a good site, you don't want to tell anyone. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably nothing. Hey, Sandy from Illinois. It's not illegal to hunt them, but no one will tell you where they are. Oh, my gosh. Well, is it just, a, you know, an Ohio thing? <laughs> um, I know Ohio. Iowa, no, oh, I, I mean, is it Jesse? Can you not find them in the South? <laughs> I want to try them now. I mean, I got some woods all over. I got planted pines around me and a little bit of woods. Now, I know there are some mushrooms that grow on the side of trees near the swamps here that people like to like decorate their crafts with, but I don't think I'd ever eat them. So if that's what it is, then I might have to leave that one with y'all. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to look it up. Because I can't look it up. My camera's my phone. I'll look up what they look like. And then I'll ask Chris. Because, you know, he knows, especially being a hunter, he'll know whatever's in our woods. He might not eat it, but he could tell me if he's seen it or not. Are they talking about? Yes. <laughs> Linda, they sure are. I'll look it up to see if they are in your state. And so it's like a private thing. So if I find them, I'm not going to tell anybody. I don't like mushrooms, so I tell them you know, to have at it. Uh. All right. I kind of want to... I told myself I wanted to do this, like, random. But I think since I only have three colors, you know, I'm, I'm kind of going to be limited on my options. I don't think I've done enough, but let's get started and we can see how many more we're going to need. Best trick ever. Put your glue on the end. And y'all, the one time I did this, y'all, I don't even have it on. So it looks like I'll be making some more for a couple of seconds. What well, part of the state you live in? I live um, about halfway down Georgia on the east side, like on the border of the state for South Carolina, right below Augusta. I would say, you know, you're looking at Georgia, we're about halfway down. Um... So, uh, check it out. But there are mountains in North Georgia, but yeah, there are no mountains where I am. All we have is heat, humidity, um, and gnats. <laughs> so, if gnats, if they don't like gnats, then they do not grow here. Because that's something we have the abundance of in summertime, gnats. And kudzu. It isn't Molly... No, Diane. Well, I don't know now. I'm going to let them answer you because I don't know. All I know is one you buy in the grocery store. <laughs> and they are delicious. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, th
and she hadn't, but I think what we've realized that she did was I think there wasn't as much tinsel in that side, so she kind of like did it like, mm, this don't feel good, and sat there for a second and then got in the other one. But y'all should have seen Buffy and I jump up and come flying across this living room like, because we do not do little box. Um, neither one, both of us just, we gag and it just is not a good thing for us. So we live out in the country, so our cats just go outside to go to the bathroom. Kudzu, you don't know what kudzu is? Um, gosh, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's that vine that'll take over everything. Um, a lot of people use it to keep, like, where we live, the behind the Walmart, they actually let it grow to keep, you know, sweet gums and the growth down, and then they'll, like, kill it all back, and then it'll grow back again. You can't, you can't get rid of that stuff. You never, if anybody says they have kudzu, run. Don't let it get, don't let them mow your grass with your lawnmower. <laughs> it's awful. You can't get rid of it. A lot of people don't like wisteria because it kind of does the same thing, which I think that's beautiful. But yeah, kudzu is like a, I thought that was like an everywhere problem. In the U.S., more mushrooms are found in abundance from central Georgia northward into Michigan and Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Vermont, and as far west as Oklahoma. Yeah, but I don't live anywhere near the north side of Georgia, and that's more of the mountain area, So, and it's probably cooler, so that's probably why they grow up there. Yeah, we nothing grows here that can't take heat. We hunt Molly, Molly Mo, her which is wild mushrooms. Hello, I enjoy watching your crafts. Thank you so much. Delilah, um, I love that name, that's pretty. You can stand and watch kudzu grow and that is not a lie. And you can't kill it. It's a menace. But like I said, some people plant it, don't know why, to control their area because nothing, it will kill and choke down anything you have, you know, it looks really, I don't even know how to tell you, it's not like a, a an ivy, but it's like a, it'll grow like that. It grows all up on stuff and not pretty. Like when you see that cute little stuff that grows on like cottages and stuff and you always want it on your house, it's not like that. You'd have to look it up to see it. You can stand and watch, you can. You can watch it, wisteria smells so good when it blooms. I think it's just so pretty. It looks like grapes glowing everywhere. I think our winter is about to go over, yes. Today, y'all look at me, and I probably am hot. I feel like I'm sweating here in the 64 in my house. I put on this shirt, and I put like a little sweater thing over it, because you know, in the morning, it's been, you know, in the 50s. I don't have to put a coat on, but that's what I can put on. Mm, I wasn't even out the door this morning, and I was like, what am I thinking? I'm already sweating, and I was so glad, because I had to, this was too hot. But y'all, I'm so white right now, I cannot wear a short sleeve shirt. It is super sad. You know how like dark fat looks better than white fat, so I've got to get the tan bed or do my spray tan or something so I can wear some shorts soon, because I'm sure in the past two years in Georgia, I mean, it's been, it can get up in the 80s in February, and normally that's an April thing for us. But, you know, I mean, that's just, as you get older, you learn, you know. You always, you know, grass is always greener. Because I bet up north, I would give anything to have a white Christmas. And it'd be freezing cold for at least, at least give us like four or five months. And I guarantee you, all the people that have that were like, I wish I lived in Georgia where it's, it's hot. And they only have like one month where it's cold. Get Chris to do the tanning thing. <laughs> He does a good job. The very first time he did it for me, he did so good, but I think I was like watching him do it, and I was like, okay, not too much there. And then the second time, I was just like, all right, go up this leg, go up that arm, and we'll do my arms. And I wasn't paying attention, and I had like a, you know, like when you used to put like that tan and cream on you, and you'd have like places on your hand that might have like orange places. That's kind of like some places in my legs look. <laughs> So if I get him to do it again, I'm gonna have to kind of be a little mindful of what he's doing. All right. 
All right. I pulled that one. All right. Got me a little pile over here. I think our winter is about to be gone, Chris. We are wearing shorts Christmas 2019. We sure were. I'm not kidding you. I don't think I've had a Thanksgiving or Christmas in the past probably five, six years that I have not turned my air conditioner on. And, and it would be cool outside. It's just, you know, it just gets so hot here. I mean, today, I mean, like my, tomorrow, I can imagine the, the, it, the humidity almost felt like it was back out today. My sinuses will be throbbing tomorrow, especially if it gets back cool again. Really don't have a winter here. No, we really don't. We have, like, the cool times. Just love you and your crafts and listen to you talk. Makes my day. Watching from Knoxville, Tennessee. Thank you, Debbie. That's so sweet. All right, so I'm going to pick this cute little. And I'm not going to. I'm going to go over the edges enough where you don't see them, but I'm going to try to keep the shape of the heart as close as I can. So if I go over the edge, I don't think I'm going to go very much, just enough where you don't see it. Because, you know, I don't think it's necessary to paint it because these are so fluffy. And I'm just going to, since they're flat right in the center, I'm just going to put a little dab right there of the um, hot glue. Hello, evening to you too. All right, let's see. Let me put it on here and then I can place it where I wanna go. Okay. All right, maybe I'll put these right here and maybe put a white one in the snow. Let's see. All right, what I'm gonna do is go pink, hot pink, white, and then go pink, hot pink, no, pink, well, okay. Either I'm gonna have to do the same thing on each side, like all the way around, and then fill in the center, or I don't want it to look too patterny. Okay, let me try this. Let me see how close I want it to be together. Because I want it to be together, but, you know, they're pretty good little size balls. So, they don't have to be right smack up next to each other. And you see how, you know, they, they scrunch into each other. So, it's just a matter of how many you want to make. I mean, you could, you know, I could put this even further down here. So, it's really just going to depend on how many you want to make. How close you want them together, that sort of thing. I need to quit worrying about what it looks like. I can fluff it up at the end. But I'm just going over slightly. See so far? Listen, and once. I did make a pom-pom where you could hold all three of your strings and wrap them around there. Now, of course, if we're doing 40, you wouldn't have to do but 12 loops um, because you've got 12 or 13 loops and you've got your 40 of all three. You know, take that math into account. Um, and then you would have pom-poms that are all three. Just play around with it. But if you do it, put some pictures on Sins Crafter so we can see it. Hey, Joyna. Hey, Barbara. Where is, bless your heart. Look at that sweet baby. She's never too far. She's over here stopping in from Iowa. Hey, from Iowa. What states are we missing tonight? All right. So, I know I'm going to do this in the center, maybe. Okay. Quit, I need to quit worrying about what it looks like before I get to the end. Okay. I'm just trying to make it where not too many are touching beside each other. 
colors. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get to a point where something's going to be closer, but trying to make it as random and not touching as I can. And y'all saw how super easy this is. And these, these pom-poms are easy to make. You can just sit there and make a whole lot of them. Make a whole lot of colors you like. No, baby, it's not time to play. And, um, and then start, you know, just you can set them down on here and find the colors you want. And then, um, you know, some of them, if you don't like that color with it together, then don't do it. And you can do any shape on this. You know, they, and if you're like me and you just like the, um, you know, a burlap color or a very neutral color, just get neutral yarn like we talked about. As long as you're doing this heart shape or whatever shape the holiday is. Like a star, I don't know, a star has sharp corners, so that may be a little bit hard to achieve um, to keep the shape of a star, but if you did little tiny ones, you could. All right, so we're gonna put this. I'm gonna put, nope, I'm gonna put this right here. Then we'll put a white one right there, okay. And I'm not having to use a lot of hot glue. These things are really light, and it absorbs the fabric. Uh, and it, you know, sticks to this really good. And that a fabric will just keep absorbing. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot her. Bless your heart. She always blessing our crafts and making them so good. Okay. So I don't think we're going to need but a few more. And we'll be looking good. I almost think when you see this, Lord, it would probably take you forever, but you know, if you were sitting down and wanted to, if you got like some kind of maybe like a cheap, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like doormat from the Dollar Tree, you could probably do a little one of these like to put outside of your shower. Cause I mean, just touching it is so soft. I mean, you'd have to really put probably some E6000 on something to bond cause you know your feet. But you know, if I stepped on that, still feels really soft. I'm just saying if you wiped your feet off, you could knock it, but if you had some really good bonding glue, you could. Hey, from North Carolina. Okay, and then we have somebody else from Vermont. Okay, let's see if we've got room for another white one somewhere. Yeah, we can put this right here, and then we can put a hot um, pink one right there. So, I don't think I wanna need maybe one, two, three, four, five more, but I know I'm gonna need a hot pink one right now. And y'all, I think this is gonna be a really good size for this project. So if you wanna do one with it was just color, buy more than one of these, especially for this little size. Heels of Vermont. Vermont. That is such a Vermont. I'm from Vermont. Sounds so awesome. <laughs> I'm from Vermont. Chris's grandmother, Mimi, that we always talk about, she grew up in Montclair, New Jersey, and she always talks about how pretty it was. It was really close to the coast, so she didn't have the snow like most people do. Two, three, four. So, um, cause I was like, oh, I bet you had like white Christmases and stuff. And she said, no, we're close to the ocean. So we didn't get the snow like most people do. Maybe that the salt air cools it. That made me want to lay my head on it. That's why I was saying earlier is I think I'm really going to like the texture of it. Um, it's going to make me like the project, you know, the colors. I'm not all into these colors. Because I, I really like the things that we did up there behind me. I'm trying to direct you with my head. Um, because I feel like I could leave them up when it's not Valentine's Day. Or, or I, don't, I won't immediately want to take them down. Like, okay, this, this holiday's over with. You know, like um, 
Halloween, you want to take the stuff down immediately. Um, I just feel like when it's those neutral colors that, you know, towards the end of, you know, February, I can still have them up. with one side and I think it held the shape really well especially on this side over here almost looks like remember you said those big corsages it's a little bit before my time maybe my sister's time you had those big old corsages on it was like homecoming court or something and you know what I'm talking about? Those big, what were those big flowers? They don't really do them anymore, but they were always, and they put a little gold football in the middle of them. Kudzu was introduced to the States to prevent soil erosion. It was a good thing that went bad. It took over and choked other plants. Very hard to control. I think it came from some, an Asian country, too. Like, they brought it here to a plant show, and the next thing you know, it's like everywhere, too. But it really does, like behind the Walmart, it really does control, like, you know, when those sweet gum trees pop up on the side of the road. And, um, you know, next thing you know, you got this, like, little patch of thicket forest right by, you know, in between your field and the road. And they, they do that. And about every, you know, three or four years, they'll spray something on it that'll kill it back. And it just kills the vines back, but it doesn't kill the plant because slowly but surely, I mean, and it covers a lot. But there's no trees. There's nothing else except that kudzu. So beware. If you ever buy some property or something that has kudzu on it, don't. Unless you really want to get out there and till it. And like I said, you, I don't know how you kill it. Yes, it did. Were they called moms? Maybe. If it was like chrysanthemum, it was a huge one. But remember, it would just be a huge thing. Ideas and fun facts. Yes, Jim, we sure do. We still do football moms in Texas. I've used the vines to make baskets. Very, hold on, the vines to it. it. Really? Well, I mean, I guess as big as it is, the vines probably have to get really big. I don't think I've ever been that far into it. I just see it on the side of the road places. Um, well, you know, I, I don't, you know, you, know you, 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 you have your kids, you're in high school and it, and it was very soon after I was, I was 22 when I had Neely. So, you know, I don't, I don't really go to football games, like local football games when they were little until maybe they got in school and they want to go to the football games and hang out with their friends. So it was a long time and, you know, I don't pay attention to homecoming, that kind of stuff until they get older and they get into it. But when Neely and them went through in high school, they didn't, I don't think, if they had corsages, it wasn't when I grew up, those big, what you're talking about, I guess, the moms. Um, now, other high schools may do them, but their high school doesn't do them. Yeah. But, you know, they put the little gold football in the middle, and they had like a little red, whatever color your school was, and it was, it was really cool. Yeah, but if y'all still do it, that's awesome to do. I love when you keep traditions like that and you don't change. I don't do change very well. <laughs> I always say I do, but I think looking back on some things and I'm like, mm, I really don't want to do that. I think I'm one of those people that fall into that. I don't like, I don't like change. I should, but I don't. Okay. These I'm having to scrunch up just a little bit closer because I don't want it to hang off more than other places have hung off, even though I can trim it when we get towards the end. So there we go with like half of them. And when I guess I need a hot pink one right there. Again, y'all, I'm scared I don't have it. One more hot pink one in it. 
Oh, Lord, and I don't think I have but one. Come on, this can't happen to me. <laughs> Look, I've got all these shavings. You reckon I could just glue that on there? All right. Let's see how many more I've got in here. Make this little cut a little short. Sprinkle, thank you, Diana, for sprinkling. She is wrapping yarn 40 times. Oh, did somebody answer? Thank y'all, Sandy, for helping me. For Japan, started in the 1800s, yes. Seems like I read something about it one time, starting like at a plant show or something, and it got away from them or something like that. Um, but yes, I'm wrapping it 40 times around, but now you've got to think, I'm using the thicker yarn. I would say if you use regular yarn, you're going to have to go a lot to have the size I have, but you're just going to have to gauge on what size things you're putting them on, you know, that. But if you like this size and you have the side yarn, I'm doing it 40 times on an inch and a fourth cardboard. Um, Y'all look, uh, not kind of, which I can get me some more. And if it's probably gonna be just one quarter, but oh my gosh, and I thought it was gonna be perfect. And I'm definitely gonna need another one because it's right there. And I'll do pink. Let's try. I'm going to put this one over here because i got to have one on that side. And it is kind of close to this one right here. We can make that kind of fuzzy. Let's see. It'll be another bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart. And we actually have a heart in the running. I love this session we have. We wish we could all meet. That would be so much fun. Isn't it, though? Learning all these cute little factoids and cooking. Didn't somebody, somebody... Eating homemade cabbage soup and getting educated and cracking up at everyone's comments. What a night. And I'm jealous of the cabbage soup. I'm a soup eater. You know, like, have you ever been on the cabbage soup diet? It doesn't do me any good. I, eat, I mean, I guess it's like a chore for some people to eat it. I'm like, I could eat this whole um, pot in one night. It's awesome. <laughs> And you're supposed to eat it over like five days. And I'm like, they, they need to come up with a some kind of miracle soup diet for me that says you can eat five cups of this soup and, you know, every day you're still going to lose weight. Oh, cabbage soup sounds so good. Today we made St. Paul, I think it's St. Paul's can uh, casserole, what it was called. It's got um, one pound of like ground pork in it, a whole onion, a whole bell pepper, a green pepper, bell pepper, and um, celery, and then you put rice, in with some Lipton like chicken soup, a pack. You mix it all up, and then she said if you put cheese on it and stuff when when they go to make it Monday, they'll put the cheese on them and and finish baking them. Let's do cornbread recipes. Oh, Lynn, now yet you, now you're talking. But Lynn, I'm a I'm not a crispy cornbread eater. You know, people like those crispy like looks like a uh, what do you call it? pancake. I like I like it just as fluffy and ooey gooey, and you could dip it in your soup. <laughs> the best. That that's the difference on how you were raised. Like Chris, you know, you you <clears throat> either have chunky peanut butter when you're growing up, or your mama buys creamy. I grew up on creamy. Chris grew up on chunky. You, your mother either buys grape jelly or strawberry jelly. My mama bought grape jelly. His mama bought strawberry jelly. He still, he'll eat more pink, creamy peanut butter, but I think he prefers the chunky. But I never buy chunky because I can't, and I don't want my peanut butter sandwich to crunch. Um, and that's kind of how um, cornbread is for us. His mother, like, heats up her skillet and puts the cornbread in there, and it gets really crispy. And it doesn't taste terrible. I am just grew up on one, like, you cut cornbread into, like, a big fluffy square, and it's, 
so fluffy and it absorbs all your vegetable soup and it's just the best thing in the whole world. Corn casserole sounds awesome too. With honey on it, ooh, honey butter. When you go in those restaurants and they make honey butter, it's really good. We still do moms in Texas, but I have not seen any as big as the ones I used to. Mom football on the mom, I don't know, some streamers, a big letter in the middle for your school, yeah. And they were huge. And yeah, I'm like with you, if they do that, I have not seen any chrysanthemums that big since I've been an adult. So I thought it was another type of flower. But now that you think of it, it does, you know, and it has that kind of like little claw and it was just huge and in the center you had, yeah, love that. Had to go make me a salad. You were making me hungry for mushrooms. I <laughs> I'm making myself hungry. I didn't eat supper. Oh God, am I holding y'all up? Okay, we're doing good. Our um, come here and I'll ask them. Somebody will tell me. Walmart was letting all their plants, it says, clearly says indoor, and they put them outside when it was freezing cold and then let it water. Uh, hold on, Buffy, it doesn't say no, on here. Okay, what say. kind of plant is this, y'all? I know they can get big, but this may it be one It kind of looks like bamboo. Hold on, it's I mean, not it's under not, this sticker? No, oh, not. yeah, there it is right there, but I can't, you know I can't here, pronounce that word. They were letting all their indoor plants, they put them outside when it was freezing cold and then let it rain. So then it, so they were all on sale. And I was like, I got you a bunch of plants. Do not put my cornbread in a cast iron mold too hard. Yeah, I'm not, Lynn, I'm not a hard one either. I like it mushy and soft and bread. Sounds like a dinner tomorrow. <laughs> I liked it baked in a hot skillet and crisp on the outside and fluffy in the center. No, I don't want, I don't want it crispy. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't. But I just, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, remember when you're in the lunchroom and it's like they used to cut it in that perfect little square? If you can get it just right like that. But honey sounds awesome on it. Especially we have someone that grow. We have about three people in Waynesboro that grow local honey and it's all delicious. A rubber tree. A rubber tree, Buffy? Look up and see if the nickname for that is rubber tree. Mini umbrella tree. She said she looked it up. I thought, I am not a plant person. Well, listen, I'm gonna tell you about me and plants. I probably can grow anything outside, but in my house, I do not like windows. <laughs> Everybody finds this kind of hard to believe about me, no. The last house that we lived in before we built this house, I loved the house, but these people put a window on every square inch of this house. You couldn't put furniture anywhere. It was just windows, windows, windows everywhere. So when I built this house, I mean, I did like the builder inspectors minimum you could put windows on here. I love light, love ceiling can lights, love all light, but not outside light. In the house, I don't know, that's weird because I love being outside and love, I just don't like it in my house. So even if the windows I have, I have blackout curtains on them. They're white, you know, curtains, you know, and you, could, you can buy them blackout. Or I have like blinds in my room, but I don't ever open them. So, I really can't grow anything inside because I kill it because I'll, I don't, it doesn't get any light. <laughs> light. Even plants that, that like, people are like, oh, you can't kill these. They don't like a lot of light. I'm like, now you got to understand who you're talking to. Somebody who doesn't have any light in my house. I love it baked as a crust on tamale pie. Is that kind of like tomato pie? Looks a little like... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. She says some kind of uh, umbrella plant. Cook my cornbread in a cast iron skillet, nice and fluffy. Yes, like when you cover it up, you know, like to the, and it bakes up like a cake. Oh, yes, that's the best. I do like it in a cast iron skillet like that, but she heats hers up with oil, and then she opens the oven and pours it in there, and it makes like this real crisp stuff. My husband loves it. But I don't even cook it that way. I'm like, you just got to wait your mama cook, <laughs> cooks it that way. <laughs> I cook my cornbread, hold on, and bread pudding with vanilla. That's something I don't think I've ever made is bread pudding. She does. She makes a type of bread pudding that, and Chris doesn't, he's like, oh, it's okay. And, and I'm, I haven't never like went goo goo gaga over it. So I don't, um, that's something I don't think I've ever cooked. Buffy, have you ever made bread pudding? No. Buffy is my cooker. She loves to cook and try all kind of weird, you know, new recipes and salad bowls and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm in the country and windows everywhere watching wildlife. I don't know, I like it, but I don't like it. You know, I like when you you 
we cuddle up in here and watch TV. We have like a really huge couch and I don't know. It's just when I'm outside, I'm outside. But when I'm in my house, I want to be in my house. <laughs> Lots of butter. Rhododendron. Rhododendron. Does that sound right, Buffy? Look that up. Okay, it has a name on it, and I think it's like the legit name as she looked, and it kind of told her what else it's called. I'm with Chris. You like it, Diana? Crispy. It looks like to me. Yeah, I think I know. You know, and it get the Rhoda. Hold on, Rhoda Dendrum. Is it get really big like a tree? Because when I picked that up, I thought that I was like, this looks like one of those that, that Suzanne has, like one that's like a tree in her house, but. <laughs> you know, you said you didn't know how to pronounce uh, what the other lady posted. Yes. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm wrote it. I, I, I saw what you were saying. I got you, Kim. Thank you. Because, you know, I, I, you got to break it down for me in like idiot terms. Because I am not the phonics. The hooked on phonics. I need to get hooked on phonics. Yes, it does with huge flowers on it. Okay, she's not in here, y'all, but it. You can't tell that one anything. If she looks something on the inter up on the internet, it's like the gospel. So y'all probably right <laughs> about what she walked outside, <laughs> what it's called. But, you know, now that she's looked it up, you know, she would be like, you know, I don't know what they're talking about. This is what it is. But if that's what you think it is, it's probably right. Yeah, they can get really big. Yeah, um, I'm hoping this one, I feel like that Walmart's probably stunted these plants because they, it was like really cold like a couple of weeks ago and they had succulents, everything. It clearly said on the, the side of all of the things, indoor plants, where they had them outside and then it rained for a week. So not only was it 30 degrees, it rained. So I think it was just freezing. A lot of it was already burned. The little indoor ferns were already almost black. Um, so we'll put away. I think we're going to be able to get away with this, y'all. Okay. I think, and look, we're just going to put a white one right there. Do you think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five. Now, if you go when you get this, remember, like, if you're doing the same size, we only got five of the, um, out of the, the Walmart, um, and that's what we have left. Um, not the Walmart, the Dollar Tree little size of this. Now, these came from, I think they came from Walmart. So, you know, it's like a regular big size, and we've done a lot. And I've done other crafts with this, and... This white, I just opened it. I think we made the little um, snow caps out of that, or whatever you call them, uh, little kid's hats with the puffy little ball on the top. I made about two or three of them with that. This car, y'all, <laughs> look at where I'm sliding my scissors in it every time. So this little cardboard thing has been through it. And, and do you ever make stuff like this and it's weird because you can keep up with it? Like, I'll put it right here in this little thing and I'll keep up with this little tiny thing probably for a long time. But if it was something that I had bought and was specifically made to do something, I would be able to find it. But this little cardboard thing has just worked out good. I love having like a little, this just makes it where you just twist them and it's fine. If I wasn't running my mouth, we would have been done an hour ago. Ooh, I started to come off that end. Till when you get to the last one, you get a little sloppy. That poor little corn is tired. That needs to be the bless her heart. We'll keep this, and it'll just be part of bless your heart. I'll set it right here. Because, look, it's even like it's kind of want not to collapse, but it's got a little give in it now. 
where it was really stiff when I first started working with it. Okay. See, I keep sliding my scissors in here to cut it, and so there's just all these grooves on the um, cardboard where I'm cutting it. So we'll keep this little thing. We know what size pom pom it makes, at least. And you have to, you have to just try. I mean, like, you can go back and watch the replay about the measurements if you ever forget. But just, just make one. And if you're, if you end up cutting a lot of it off. You know, like it's just too big. Not because it's uneven. You're gonna have the little uneven places. But if it gets to where you put it on your craft and you're having to cut a lot of it off, so you don't have all that waste and don't go farther, make your little cardboard key or whatever you call it, like little template pattern, whatever. Make it smaller. Cause that way you don't do all that cutting and you don't have all the waste. But I'll tell you when you do, <laughs> You know, I cheap I am. And I like to keep stuff. If I had a craft room, I probably would never have to go to the store hardly because I would keep all the stuff. But this right here makes really good stuff. And especially when you want to do um, little stuff. And the reason why I like it for stuffing is because it's so small. When you put it in the corner of something, it really gets in the corner instead of you having to like work with it like you do that polyfill. It was worked perfect when we made the little hats. Instead of getting a cotton ball and sticking up in the little top part to make it really round, what I trimmed off, I just stuffed up in there and it worked perfect. It didn't fall out or anything. Okay. Y'all, we made it work. I don't know how, but we did it. Yeah, I'm like, y'all just want to lay my head on it. It feels so good. Because this is actually, you know, like the softer kind of baby blanket. Not as soft as you can get, but it's on the softer side of yarn. Welcome to Parenting of Adult Kids. One day they come back and say, Mom, you were right. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait till that day comes. Chris, somebody just said one day. So welcome to Parenting an Adult one day they will come back and say, Mom, you are right. I said, I can't wait till that day comes. Chris said he won't live that long. <laughs> we like for you to run your mouth. I love your personality. Thank you, thank you. Because I can do that, no problem. That's what um, Pam said, Larry, uh, at the church. He said, Cynthia's found something that's just right for her because I can do really run my mouth. Okay. I feel like there's a place right here where, see right there, where you may can see it, but you know, I have these little pieces that if it's really gonna irk me, I may can just put just a tiny little, you know, cause I can't make a whole pom pom, it's just gonna be too small. And I can't make even a little tiny one because I think the, mis the shape will be off. So I'm just gonna put, just so it doesn't, two little pieces. Oh no, we're gonna put, Maybe one or two more. I've got a little bit longer one right here. And then, you definitely won't see it. And one little piece of this white by this other one. That's the good thing about hot glue. It loves material. So, okay, now. We don't even have that. Ha! That needs to be with bless her heart. Yes, this little cardboard, y'all, we'll put it up over here. We're not gonna lose that. She's blessed us, and our cardboard has definitely blessed us on this. Well, uh, good job you put these things in the right spot. Yeah, that way, it, you know, and, and it's not, like looking from the back, I didn't do it too far over the edge, just enough to cut, probably the bottom one is the furthest one I went. I could fluff it up a little bit. But look at it from the back. See, I just went just far enough where you won't see the edge. All right. So, now, y'all, what I wanted to do, and this is going to be a strict... It looks like that other bag of it's, at, it's at the church. I wanted your daddy to bring it home because I didn't want to put it in my car. And, and at first, you were going to Mimi, so he didn't get it. Art is great. I know. I love it. But remember I told y'all I had this other stuff. I was going to try to con connect, connect, combined textures that I had gotten. 
this. I can't use the red. I have to use this. And that paints a little bit further off from it. But this one is lighter. I wanted to connect the little textures around the outside, so I was gonna just try something and see if we like it, and if we do, if we don't, then we don't have to use it, because I'm not a big mesh person, and I never did any, any kind of crafts with these. But it's just like the mesh that you get the bigger roll, six or 12 inch, some of them could come in eight inch. But unlike the, the uh, burlap, uh, one or uh, the color of burlap that we bought that had the cotton in it. This is not cotton, it's kind of like uh, just some kind of like little fake snow spray they put on it, but it actually is forming little balls almost like it's a okay. There it starts. And so, even though this one's a light pink, it almost just looks white. And I thought about if I put like something around the edge, but y'all, I'm I don't think I'm gonna like that. I think this is just so pretty, I don't want to take away from it now. And see, this is a little bit pinker, but I think when you open them up, uh, this is such fun, Diane. Here's Lauren and I worked together for years in West Virginia, and now I live in Tennessee. It's a small world after all. This heart is great, love it, thank you. Okay, so even when you open them up, it doesn't look that pink, but I wanted to add, a heart around the out to give it textures, and I'm just not liking that. So we're not gonna do that. All right. But what we can do is add, where are, oop, they were smaller than that. Mm, I think they are. I'm always picking up little stuff. The red we can't use, but these little hearts we might can. Like, we'll just see what it looks like too and play with it. I mean, I like it like this and we can put a hanger on it. You always have the thing we took off the other side that we could put on it that gives it that Valentine's butt. Initial would be really cute in it. So, I, was I mean, I don't want to pull this off if we don't use it. Like putting different heart. Nope, don't like that either. So let's just put our hanger on it, and we're just gonna like this the way it is. But I am gonna use this because I love that little beady stuff on the outside of. But it looks more white. Like this one always looks like a champagne color. You know. I think I'm kind of liking that, but I don't like it with that texture. I was hoping I could mix textures with it. Let's see, I have some that they don't have. See, I'm thinking I don't like these textures together. This color definitely doesn't go with it, but it's just so soft and pretty. And instead of doing a hanger that's um, um, beaded, we'll just do one that's my gosh, that's curly. It's right in the center. It's my new roll. And I don't think I like it being curly, but I don't think I have a choice unless I find the outside. I know you can wet this stuff, but... Which I guess if I hang it up on there, it's going to pull it back straight. Okay. Ooh, we have our cloth out. Where did you get that stuff from? This, I got from the Dollar Tree in their Valentine's Day stuff. And I got it, I did get it a few, about maybe two weeks ago um, because I really like the little, um, because I have some that actually has little cotton pieces in it, it looks kind of like that. But open it up and at first I was like, I don't know, you know, about the color. But as I open it up, you know, it almost is a sheer and you still got that little cottony effect so i think it's something i will use i just don't particularly like it with this now it did come in red also let's see what the red looks like when we open it up i'm sure you, you're going to see this color more but 
I don't think it screams as loud as it does for this. Yeah, see, it's red, but it's still not as, you know, it's not that bright. But I really like these colors. I wish I'd have gotten another one of that lighter color because it looks like a champagne color. Like, really cute for, like, a wedding color. All right, so we're going to put this on here. And, y'all, I'm not going to do anything fancy with the hanger because... I like the texture as far as like, I'm not putting any beads or anything like that on it. This is not, this is the other side of the thing I cut. So I'm not using our new, one of our new bless your hearts for, let me get a little piece of ribbon. And this is just to help hold the um, hanger down a little bit more. It gives it a little bit more grip, especially if I'm just using this um, jute. There's no knot for it to hold on to. I didn't tie a knot in this end. Oh, you did, Barbara? I love it. It's really pretty, and I love it even more that I opened it up, and the colors just aren't, the colors aren't bright. As far as, you know, it seems like something I'd use more. Probably, it seems like it would be really pretty against like a burlap color like this. Because it has that, um, you know, cotton kind of, like what you're saying, snowdrift. Oh, I like that. Is that like the name of it? Or, or yeah, well, that's a great name, Shelly. Oh, hold on, it's Barbara that said that. Could you use it for the hanger? Probably. Um, but I just, I don't. I don't think the textures go well together. And I feel like when you do it the hanger, it's just gonna make a straight line, so then it was kind of just wasted. But what I'll do is I'll cut a shape out of here, something, and I think what would be really cute is because I don't have a whole, whole lot of it, is maybe um, do a real cute little arrow. Um, like maybe do an outline of the heart and leave the center open and have it like an arrow through it. Um, would be really cute. Um, and I bought some of like the little heart doilies. And I thought, remember we used to make parade um, like decorations on floats and you used to take your tissue paper and um, almost make it up like a flower and you just like stick it in the chicken wire behind it. I thought about that for the doily. So maybe we can use those little heart doilies to do the outside and do like the mesh with the um, the arrow, you know, so it kind of looks like a um, like a paper flower almost. You know, might as well. What else am I gonna do with it? We can always try it, and if we don't like it. I feel like bless your heart will pull us through. We can make it good. We can put a messy bow on the end of it and that makes anything look good. <laughs> beads would cover up the curly jute, yes. But I don't want I don't want the beads to take away from it because it's so fluffy and soft. But I think maybe since I have remember we put the cloth um, messy bow on there last night and cloth is really soft. Maybe we'll put, we'll put, we'll use some of the material that we didn't use. What I wouldn't mind doing is introducing some of that uh, green, that, you know, that, I love that color with this. I'm thinking, what if we made like a little messy bow right there that had that color in it, but may not, not want to take away from it. Because we use such cute colors with this. What do we have up here? We have, oh, we don't have anything pink. Let's see about my ribbon. Ooh, y'all, ribbon I do. Got hearts on that one. And Lord, how much ribbon I've got over here. And we had not used any of this. Let's see. That's about the only one that doesn't have red in it. That would have looked cute maybe for the, cause see that is, 
Even though that's, even though this is red, I feel like I can get away with using this. Um, let's see. See what we got going on here. this in and this doesn't matter if it's curly because I actually like it if it's curly it'll give it a little bit more texture Play with ribbon. I did a heart-shaped wreath with the mesh. Could you use it with the hanger? Popsicle sticks work good for that too. Small pieces for one. Yeah, popsicle sticks, the little jingle blocks, whatever you got out. The jingle blocks I would only use if you don't have to worry about the thickness on the back. But if you wanted to lay flat, then yeah, popsicle sticks would be really good. Beads would cover up the curly jube. I like just as it is. Yeah, I'm kind of going that too. I feel like it needs a little bit something since I'm going to hang it up top. That's why I'm thinking if I get away with just, oh my gosh. I like this curly because it's going to look good on this messy bow, but it's making it hard for me to grab. It's moving my ribbon around. Do you think I'd have had a ton of this up here? And I didn't ever realize I didn't pick up any kind of pink um, cloth. Should have grabbed that because pink, I think a, a ragged bow kind of like we used last night would have been another kind of natural material to put on this. But nothing, all of mine is that is the red, white, and that, uh, you know, turquoise color. What if we make it fancy and we dovetail the ends, y'all? We never do that on our a messy bow. I never do that. So we'll. Well, we've learned all about kudzu tonight. We've learned that um, Buffy is the sweetest little angel in the whole world. And we've learned that um, some of us like crisp cornbread and some of us don't like crisp cornbread. <sighs> Is there anything else I'm missing? What else did we learn about tonight? That we're all hungry. <laughs> okay. Mushroom, yep, we learned about mushrooms. I learned there's some secret mushrooms that everybody goes and finds, like the mountain people with ginseng. And um, she doesn't need it because, so she tells them they don't have to tell her where it is because she don't eat it, even though it's on her own land. I'm almost wanting you to tell them if they want to come back to tell you where it is, you need to send me some so I can try it. But, well, no, because if it's like awesome and I can't get it, then I don't want to try something good that I can never eat. All right, let's see. Let's see if that's giving it. I don't know, y'all. Thinking, is it giving it something or is it just, we stuck a little bow up on it. Okay. Or without, do we just like it? Just, I mean, you gotta think of this be on our bathroom door. It's so cute. I'm thinking even if I found like a little M to put on it, especially a little girl's bedroom door, that would be really cute. 
And it's the shape of a heart, so especially if it was like a baby's bedroom door, you could use whatever colors their mom used in the room. I think I like it without the bow too. We just sat there and did that. I just need to quit messing with it. You know, some projects that are just awesome in their simplicity. Kinda looks lost in the puffs, yeah. Needs a huge soft bow. Yeah, but I don't have anything pink and I don't wanna bring in all those reds cause I mean, that's not red. It's like a hot pink fuchsia color. I mean, I don't know if y'all thought it's red the whole time, but it's not. It's like a, it's like a fuchsia color. So when you hold red up to it, this bow probably isn't the best example because it kind of looks close to it, but it's not, it's not red. And I'm with you, either go big on a bow or you know how a Southern women like to put those big bows on baby's heads. And listen, if I ever told y'all with Neely, did I ever tell you they didn't have any hair when they were born? And somebody was like, oh, put toothpaste on the bows and stick them to the head. You know, when the toothpaste, when you wash it, it'll wash right off, but you know, it'll stick while it's hard like glue. So my poor babies had toothpaste all in their head. No bow, no bow, no bow. Good, yes. You don't need another, bless your heart. <laughs> really? Check out this bow. It's, it's borderline on, on bless your heart. Oh my God, y'all, we could be such good friends because I love my friends. You have to call me out like, no, girl, that bow is pitiful. And my friends would definitely tell me that. No, put that bow up. Let me go ahead and do it right now. See, what it was, what, what it was, was bless your heart. She needed some, some um, she's Christmas, but she needed some Valentine's bling. <laughs> laugh out loud yup look look now bless your heart has got some bling bling little heart so we'll just add you know we can't like make her look rough nope y'all oh, I'm so messing up this is bless your heart she's like a baby a child closer to heaven she needs it like on the side of her head. You know how we put them on the side like that baby's head is this big and the bow is bigger than the baby's head. And I know, you know kids, like your kids probably look at other mamas and they're probably like, well, what were they thinking when they put that big bow on that baby's head? Look, y'all, see, we did it on purpose. Now, bless your heart, has got a bow and her just styling and profiling now. Hold on, let me make her. She is like... Leave it alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's it. Needed that. It needed it. Bless your heart. She needed her some bling bling and a bow in her hair. It needs eyes. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some eyes. When I go to the store next, I'm going to find like maybe some heart um, buttons because she needs some like bling bling buttons, not like something I just found on the floor. Thank you, Miss Carol. Hilarious. So much better. Yeah, I think, see, even though it's kind of curly, when I pull it and hang it on the little, and it's really light. Um, so I think I'm just gonna put like a little um, command on my, my bathroom door. And I think it'll just be pretty going in there. Going into the bathroom. Like this is the ladies that boot, what, what would you call it? Not boudoir, that's your bedroom. But um, the loo. You know, some fancy word for it. Bless your heart looks good with the bow. I do too. It fits her. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so glad we had a good time tonight. And I will see y'all tomorrow. And um, no, those big goggly eyes. No, we can't make bless your heart look weird. She got to be styling. I got to find some like bling bling eyes for her. I'll look in the jewelry department at Walmart and see if I can find um, boutique. Yeah, that, my bathroom is going to be styled. It's going to be all boot, boutique-y. Come to my bathroom, my, my boudoir bathroom or whatever. We did. Great. You can get that plastic canvas and make a pom-pom rug. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or like the Dollar Tree, like just little hard rugs that you can just get for a dollar. <laughs> My sister says she loves when I say that on here when she watched. She goes, you always go. And it was just a dollar. <laughs>
um, run a small banner across the heart. That's what I was thinking, like, when I held this up, even though it kind of looks like a little, mm, I don't like this particular thing. Like, what, I mean, I, not that I don't like the word Valentine's, but, you know, I don't think this goes with it. But, and then it's got little holes where I tore it off the back of it. But, um, I'll look, I'll play around with some of the things I have in there because, um, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I wonder if I can put a little arrow on the back, like the tail, and put one that's coming out here and we can do pom-poms out. But, you know, I'll, I'll just be messing it up because I'm thinking maybe I'll just put like an M in it for um, that. I feel like it needs something else, but I don't know what that is because everything I'm holding up to it, I think, takes away from how cute and fluffy and soft it is. Can you imagine that? Um... Uh, what do you call it? Um, the little flux fur yarn that we had, we made the Christmas tree out of, how that would feel on here. Don't ask a Walmart employee for eyes for your stick. They will c commit you. <laughs> yes, they probably would. Bless your heart. What about all those loves you... Hold on, all those loves you save. Laugh out loud. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. And, you know, the ones I took off, the ones last night, I just ripped them off. I was like, what am I worried? I know what you're talking about. Oh, my gosh. And if we painted it and it's really fancy. Girl, you do not think I have, I don't throw a thing away. Okay, you can't look at it. Ha! Huh? Because I think it's so fluffy and pretty. It needs something fancy. So, think of it as if, like, it was maybe this, like, hot pink color. Now, I have to go and I have to carefully take all this stuff off the back. But we'll try. I'm not going to do it now because that'll take forever. And I have to go find the paint. But we had, like, love. Oh, you. See, I knew we say that. Look, y'all. And it gives it that. We were talking about the um, football mom. You know, that's, I'm like, the mom. This is my corsage. We're like the best mom here. What all those loves. <sighs> Sheila, you're awesome. Get her some long lashes, too. <laughs> Hello, just come home from church. Kathy, I'm so sorry. I'm fixing to sign off. Um, but please go back and watch the replay. And you just talk to us like, you know, it's live because we had a good time tonight. And you'll find out about mushrooms and kudzu and all kind of stuff. Um, and I like, yes, I do like this. I feel like I don't, you know, I'm not going to like that whatever kind of, it's just paper. That glittery whatever that's supposed to be like some kind of disco glitter it's like fake glitter paper but i think getting all the little things off the back of it i have to be careful and um you know and i'll see the best color like if i do it in this but tomorrow yep i'm gonna have that because i gotta go do the color i almost like the color but you know i do not like that thing but i do like it that it's sparkly so Oh, I may even break out the glitter. You don't ever know. But I think that is perfect. And that's going to look real good in our boutique. Our boutique bathroom. <laughs> a loo. We have to go to the loo. I will have to watch Tower Reaper. Yes, please, Kathy, because we've had a good time tonight. Yes, look, I like it like this. So, had a good time tonight. Love all y'all. I love that y'all keep coming back. And we just, we're learning about each other. And we have such a good time. But I will see y'all tomorrow.